Hello everyone, welcome to this month's new sand sale. It's June, we're in London, the sun is shining, it's beautiful, best time to train in the garden. So, this month's new sand sale is Bao Zhong. Bao Zhong is known as cover and attack hand or wrapping hand. So the way I was explained Bao Zhong was to imagine that a wet towel is thrown over your opponent's arm. So that heaviness, that wrapping up, that's the sort of concept you have to take into it. Some people say throwing a, a towel, uh, a bag, but the, the concept is that wrapping, wrapping sort of movement, the, the heaviness that is, um, that is put on your opponent's bridge or their structure. So Baojong is done with both, both your bridges, both your arms. And if you can keep in mind that concept of wrapping up, covering, and attacking at the same time, it will help you execute Baojong uh, a lot better. So as long as your guard is up, whatever you choose to decide, whether you go with the, the beggar's hand position or uh, a bit closer to, to your head or your chin, it's completely up to you, whatever you feel more comfortable, or whatever you use in your sparring and your training. The, if we if we go with uh, with the right stance, usually the right hand is on top, and then uh, in leading arm, leading leg, and then the bottom arm is just in line with your elbow. Elbows are in, and it's this sort of position. Chest swallows or, or uh, chest swallows. You sink the ribs and you uh, push forward, and elbows are in as well. Yeah, and the pressure goes forward. Uh, when we're training. Uh, for safety, it's hands open, fingers open, fingers slightly bent, still got strength in the fingers, so like a double palm. Uh, when you're attacking, stepping forward, pressing and using the phoenix eye. So there are options in the formation of your hand for Bao Zhong. You can either double palm, single palm, phoenix or double phoenix. It's up to you in however you uh, however you use technique or however you envisage the application behind it. When you're training Bao Zhong, you can add it as a combination. I would advise you to do that as well. So think of it as a attack, chick jung, gao choy, and then train it up and down, train it on pads, train it with a partner. So Bao Zhong, chick jung, gao choy. So you're gonna see a video from Sifu Paul now. He's gonna be showing an application, explain a little bit about Bao Zhong. Uh, please continue to engage on the Facebook group, comment on here, subscribe, we're going to be doing more videos, definitely once a month or once every two weeks. As often as I can, I try to share videos from the training that we do, just to grow, uh, to grow Southern Mantis, to grow the knowledge about it. Um, and help people learn more about it. Bao Zhong, Bao Zhong, come back in. Cover, because you wrap up and close, like this. And you put the power into your elbow. So for safety, Bao Zhong is always done with the palms, like this. But actually here, it's the Phoenix Fist right to the front. That's Bao Zhong. So you close him down, Bao Zhong. Keep your elbows in. So if he does push out and come out, and he comes around, like this, you still got that power. Is that an entry technique for a guard? Only, only if you're like this. Say if I'm like this, yeah. then I do it. I'm not, I'm not going to come in like this. No, you just move your arm. Say I'm fighting like this, bang, you're doing bow drop. It's a cover and attack for yeah. Bow drop means... Put a bag over his arm and to wrap it up. So foul, like take away. So this elbow come in, and you push forward, then one goes to the throat. Or for safety, just bow drum. And a single practice would be very bow drum. Yeah, bow drum that side. Yeah, bow drum here. Here, down. Bow drum. You know, if you haven't can't get it here, get it on the. Open palm, Phoenix, double fist.